これは初めましての挨拶特別な意味なんてないわ改めましてカジミエージュの騎士グラベルよよろしくね<笑> hey there, welcome. Today's operator showcase is on Gravel, one of the best four stars you can ever ask for in the game. Now, this stage that I'm in is WD6. And let me do some little setting up over here. I'm currently showcasing Gravel Skill 2 for you guys. So I'm gonna place Thorns here, and I'm gonna place Mountain here. Now, the reason why I place them so far and not that close to the blue box is that if I do put them in the blue box, you see all these Bomberman over here. They are ready to throw their grenades onto your operators, and that could potentially kill them one shot. But with a gravel in your account, what this can do is that if you place her down, she can serve as a distraction. And then if you realize, they all launch their grenades onto her and they lose their grenades. So the very primary role of gravel is to be a master baiter. Okay, wait, hear me out. Someone who's really skillful at baiting the enemies. Okay, that's what I mean. So Um, as you see over here, she's able to help to cancel out the enemy's attack, and that way they are much weaker than before. Now, I'm gonna use Gravel on the left of the map as well, and you can see she'll trigger not just the Bombermans, but she's also gonna trigger the drone from flying in. And then afterwards, this drone cannot hurt anyone because there's no、uh, allies that are in range. So, that's the other use of her.、Um, this event is a walk in the dust, and Gravel is especially useful over here. So, let's do that again. Let's trigger the drones. And you look at that. Now the drones don't have to get close to mountain and、uh, tones over here, so they remain very safe. Alright, and these guys are a lot weaker than before, as mentioned as well. I see another person who will bring in a drone, so let's do just that. And then, yeah, that's how it goes. Now, there's also a little、uh, use of gravel, which is you can use her to push enemies or kind of hold down enemies. So I'm gonna use her, and when I did this, If you realize, Carney Gravel is holding on to the shielder, but she's not, this shielder cannot hurt Taunts at the current moment, which is a very interesting application of her. You can use her to kind of push enemies into your operators and not get them to be hurt until you remove her from the map, which is very, very nice. And then just like that, look at that. So I can also try to like trigger all the drones, so let's do just that. I'm gonna trigger the drone to fly here, and I'll trigger the drone on the left as well. This man, please send your drone here. And there you go. Very, very simple use of gravel. So, this is one of the stages that I want to show you guys the use of gravel. Let's go to yet another one. Now, what allows gravel to be this baiting of a role? If we look at a skill, it states that when deployed, generates the shield with 180% of max HP. So, she's able to get about 2.8 times more of max HP at skill rank 7. The shield strength decays over 10 seconds, so it kind of gets weaker a little bit over time with less of a HP boost. But with such a huge HP boost that's in play, it goes to say that her current HP amount can go up to more than 4000 at this skill rank level and also this、uh, operator level. So by doing that, it allows her to even tank out things like bomber drones, as you see over there, which is very, very nice to use in this particular stage. I'm gonna get Torn skill up, and each time there's a little bomber drone that appears, then I will、uh, help by actually、uh, baiting the drones with gravel. I do not think my Torns is gonna hit the drones. Oh no, Torns actually did manage to hit all the drones. Now there's a little bit of a leak, goes to say that my Torns is not very good, but it's fine. So you see, there's gonna be another bomber drone that appears, so I'll help to trigger that. And then, yeah, look at that. As simple as that. So, these bomber drones wouldn't go about hurting my dearest Torns and Mountain as well. Now, the skill of Gravel isn't the only thing that allows her to be that good of a bait. It is also for the fact that she has a wonderful branch, which is known as an executor. So, executors are also called fast redeploys. And for fast redeploys, they have a much shorter redeployment time compared to their allies. Now, if you have a max potential Gravel, for example, Once you retreat her from the map, it takes 16 seconds to redeploy her back again. If you have a lower potential gravel, it's gonna be 18 seconds, just like her other fast redeploy counterparts. Now, with this ability to keep putting her onto the map, this allows her to become a constant distraction onto the enemies. If you compare it to other operators that are not fast redeploys, instead, it will usually take about between 60 to 70 seconds, depending on potentials, to redeploy them. And hence, that is why Gravel becomes such a、uh, popular operator that a lot of people will recommend building into your accounts. 
Now, we're gonna see a particular enemy that appears in this stage, which is 4-9, which are Sarkas casters. I can place Gravel down, and what this does is that it will distract two casters from the left and the right to bait her, and then not be able to bind any of your other allies, which is very helpful here. Protecting both your Telopsis, oh no, actually all three of your operators that I've placed on this map right here. Now, they aren't the only Sarkas casters to appear, uh, there's going to be another batch of them to appear in a little bit. So when the second batch arrives, what I can do is I can bait them once again. So we'll wait for that to happen. There you go. The second... No, that's not the second batch. Those are snipers. Um, Mountain's going to have a little bit of trouble battling the spiders there. Because they're going to explode on him. But it's not all too bad, see? And then you bind them again. You distract them. And simply as that, Mountain and Thorns will help to clear out the stage. So that is another prime example of when to use gravel. I've got more stages for you guys. Let's head to the next one. Now, last stage that I'll showcase the baiting ability of gravel. This is a funny way that you can use her. So I'm going to place her right over here. And then afterwards, you can see that she's in range of Telopsis right now. This is Telopsis with module. If you've never watched a Telopsis operator showcase before, you can head to that video right after this one. But anyways, by placing gravel down last, these stun snipers will always be hitting onto Gravel. And that way, Gravel will always be taking the stuns as compared to uh, Mountain or Thorns uh, needing to get hurt by them. So this is one of the interesting uses of her. We're going to see another batch of stun snipers. And then the same funny effect will happen again, where poor Gravel will always be permanently stunned by these stun snipers. So you're going to see that happen. There you go. So that's enough of baiting showcase. Let's show you a second use of Gravel. Now the second use of Gravel that I'll mention is what I call stalling. So this stage is 410 I believe. And let's place Myrtle down. We set up the stage a little bit. So let's set up what I call a shooting range onto Frost Nova. I'm going to place Cruz over here. And I'm going to place uh, an Akil also. Uh, I will follow up with a Vermeil. Let's put her over here. And now, I'm going to hold Frost Nova back with Gravel. So this is what I call stalling, where you can hold back the enemy with the bodies of your operators. So Gra Gravel will be doing her own thing. She's going to try to keep Frost Nova there. And even if Gravel goes down, I can just temporarily use a second body. So let's use uh, Elysium over there. Well, it's fine if it, that happens. Alright. And you can see, with all my snipers, that's going to get rid of Frost Nova. Now, Frost Nova is currently attacking onto Saria, which is going to be pretty painful. But if, let's say, she walks up to the right, and then I need to hold her back again, then what I can do... Okay, let's not get Vermeer too hurt. Yeah, I can pull Gravel down there. And then by keeping her still in place, then Anashiel and Jessica are killing her. Now, you can do this to a lot of boss. Because of the fact that Gravel skill to increase her health by so much, you can kind of hold the boss temporarily on the spot for a few seconds, which is going to be very helpful to apply maybe the little bit of damage that you want to kill the boss. So this is one of the applications of Gravel. Now, I want to do an explanation for why I don't showcase skill 1, and I keep showcasing skill 2. Now, in this segment of the video, let's understand the difference between Gravel Skill 1 and Gravel Skill 2. Now, Gravel Skill 1 states that her defense is tremendously increased by 340% at Skill Rank 7, with this defense continuously decreasing for 8 seconds. At E240, her defense is 352. So let's put that in the calculator, and then we multiply by the amount of the increase, and so her defense is increased all the way up to 1540, which is kind of like uh, very similar to a Quora or Hoshiguma level of defense whenever their skill is up. But you must take note that this defense is not constant and it will decrease by kind of like an equivalent amount. So it's going to drop about 200 defense every second that she remains deployed. And this could be nice at the very moment that you drop her down. The very moment you drop her down, someone is shooting onto her, she has a high defense, she could tank that out as long as it's a physical damage enemy. Of course, if this is a arts damage enemy, the increase in defense isn't going to do anything. But we look at skill 2, which states that when deployed, generates a shield with 180% of max HP, and then this HP will decay over time. So what this does is that it will generate a shield of 3300 HP, 
So this is the amount of extra attack that she can tolerate before the enemy's attack starts to munch onto her actual HP. And this is a lot if you think about it. Now, with this amount of extra HP, there is no need to be particular about the enemy that you use her to beat against. Whether it's physical or arts damage, this shield will tank out those damage and keep her HP intact. Whereas if you compare to the first skill, even though she has an increased defense, number one, it's not very good against arts damage enemies, and number two, she is still gonna take damage, like her HP can still go down if the enemy's attack is more than their defense. This is why a lot of people will recommend general players to just fall back onto gravel skill 2, because gravel skill 2 is more applicable in many places. Even if there's a situation where gravel skill 1 looks like it's okay, it's gonna be pretty rare. Even in max risk, high risk, and all this kind of thing, people don't normally seek out for gravel skill 1. And hence, you can play safe and always use gravel skill 2 the moment you have her at elite 1. So that's for you to understand why I never really bothered to showcase skill 1. Now there's one final use that I want to show you guys for gravel which is triggering enemies. So let's go to the next stage. But before that, let me also show you her module. If you have her at E240, you have the option to unlock her module which states that it refunds a large portion of the current DP cost when retreated. So the actual percentage of this DP cost is 80%. The usual percentage is 50%. Now to show you what happens with this module, I need to take you into the next stage as well. So let's do just that. This stage over here is DMEX6 and the final use of gravel that I like to teach is triggering enemies. So what I can do over here is that I can use gravel to poke one of these sleeping casters. They'll wake up and then they'll be sent onto Blazer's way for them to be eliminated. So I'm gonna keep rinsing and repeating that motion where I'll use gravel again. Let's wake up another caster. And then as simple as that, Blaze will be able to grind them down ever so slowly. So I can keep doing this until I do it onto all of the casters as you see over there. There are many stages where you can have this kind of mechanic where you wake someone up and then you send them onto the way of your allies. Now, notice that Gravel's DP cost at the moment is 10. If I have a module, what this does is that let me use Gravel to wake up this caster here and then I'm going to retreat her. Okay, I'm going to place Myrtle down as well. If not, you guys can't really see what I'm trying to say. So look at the DP cost. It's currently at 82. If I retreat Gravel, it refunds by 8 DP. So this is 80% of the 10 DP cost that you see of Gravel right now. If you don't have a module, Gravel will only refund 5 DP. So that is the idea of what it means by refunding a large portion of deployment points. And this is very helpful to conserve the amount of DP that you want to use in a stage. This same module is also applied onto Phantom as well, which is very very nice for him to have that module. So now you guys understand how it works. Final stage to showcase is SV5. So I can use Gravel and Yato over here in this stage. This is still on the purpose of triggering enemies. So I've woken up the flower as you see over there. The applying sanity damage right now. I'll wait until the sanity damage goes like really really low. Then I'll remove my operators and then gravel as well. Then I'll put tones in the middle lane. And just like that, I've woken up two flowers. The running havoc. But it's okay. Uh, tones is able to clean sweep them in just a little bit. And I can use gravel again to wake up a flower. Let it just do its own little crazy thing. And after I can remove gravel. There you go, sweet stuff. And then finally, if I want to, I can also use Yato uh, just to trigger the second flower over there. And then let go. And then, yeah, as simple as that. So this is a interesting way for you to consider getting gravel to be used within your account. All right, uh, let's go into our operator menu where I'll do one last closing summary for you guys. If you guys haven't been able to tell, Gravel is really a stellar operator to have in your account. I've showcased to you guys so many applications of her in numerous stages, and it's very easy to use her as well. If you've never had a fast redeploy operator in your account just yet, Gravel really needs to be your first. It's easy to pick her up, it's easy to learn what she does, and then once you get used to it, you might even take her to every single stage of yours. Now, my gravel over here is E2 because uh, I bothered to actually promote her and get her module, but you do not need to E2 her. If you're a new player who just entered the game, what I would advise is to build her up to Elite 1 immediately. 
give her some levels, maybe level 40 to 50. Later on, you can give her the maximum elite one. When might you want to E2 her? I leave that up to you. Because you can E2 her very late into the game, which is what I did. I only E2 her two years into the game. And I'm enjoying it very much as well. Even so, at E1, she's going to be as functional as you see in the video, serving all the purposes as I've mentioned. And at the same time, I will give credit to Gravel that she has some beautiful skins as well. As you see over here, that's her E2 skin. And then this is one of the skins that you can buy from the Cambrian series as well. She's also got good voice lines if you guys have never heard. Let's play some random ones. He loves you. <笑>あたしのことは気にしないでいいから。お仕事の続きをどうぞ。誘拐されて<笑> He has gotten very personal there. She really, really likes you. So I mean, I hope that you guys can return that love back onto her as well and build her in your accounts. That's that for Gravel Showcase. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. And if not, I shall see you in many more showcases to come. Alright, bye everyone.